Hi, I'm Patrick and this is the Mach-E Vlog. We have one of the very first NAX adapters so that we can charge at Tesla superchargers. We've been using it using plug and charge. We're gonna try two other methods and see if those work as well. So let's go. Okay, the easy one is just plug and charge. We've, we've done this in a few other videos, but if you haven't watched those, you should, but if not, we'll show you how to do it. It's literally, you just take the cable, put the adapter, you wanna make sure it clicks, of course. Open up your charge port. And I didn't park too close, so it's a little bit snug. I click in, I'll hear it latch. The, the ring turns blue, that means it's actually communicating, and then when it's uh, actually charging, the next ring, uh, part of the ring will start flashing blue. So that's the easiest way, and there it goes, it's starting to flash blue now. That's the easiest way to initiate a charge. It's literally just plug and charge, and you plug it in, and it will start charging. I'll show you how to go ahead and disconnect it. I'm gonna talk for a second, so it's just not just plugging in and, and disconnecting. Uh, but that's gonna give you the rate that you see in the Tesla app or the Ford Pass app. That's uh, for the, the pricing. So that's quick, easy. If you don't want any headaches, we've been doing this. We've done probably like 15 sessions so far. It takes about 15 seconds from the time you plug it in to the time it starts charging. It's quick and easy. I do wanna say like the only way to see the speed, and I'll show you a little bit later after we uh, initiate more charges, but is, is in the Ford Pass app, and I'll show you that in one second. But look, let's show you how to stop charging right now. So it's very simple. You don't want to do this one first. I think you may be able to, but Ford said not to. Ford says, push this button. You hear it go, that's letting the latch go. Push the silver button. And then now that it's off, you got to get the adapter off. You can't just pull it. There's a latch under here. So you just do that. And then you're good to go. And then you just put the cable back and you're good. So I'm going to do charge my EV using the Tesla app. But first things first, I got to show you, I need to go into my menu, click on charging, click on vehicle details. And here, I, this is where I set up that I have a Mustang Mach-E and that I have the NAX DC adapter. So I, that's already been set up. So we're going to go back now to the main screen, charge your EV. It says no chargers within range. I think, hold on, oops, I gotta hit the little arrow. That should give me my local charger. If not, I'm just gonna have to manually find this real quick. Yeah, it shows me where I'm at on the map, but it's just not zooming in. I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll zoom in here to Quartzsite. There we go, Quartzsite, Arizona. And we're going to say charge here. I'm assuming it's going to bring up which stalls are available. And we are on 10D. So I got to scroll through here. This is in numeric order. So this is really nice. Um, but it's still a lot that I got to go through. So we're going to say uh, 10D. And it's telling me that it's uh, 83 or 84 available. It's 55 cents per kilowatt hour and I can hit 10D, update billing profile. So we're gonna have to black all of this out. Actually, we'll just, won't put this, we won't put this on the screen. Okay, just had to update that. It already had my credit card on file, so I don't know why I had to do that, but that's okay. So now we're just gonna hit start charging. I'm gonna set my phone up here. It's circling, attach adapter and plug in. So, now we just go through the same process, put the adapter on, and then we plug in. And let's see. There we go. Heard it latch, went blue. And then let's, uh, we're going to watch on the screen and see what it says on here. It's starting to charge, initializing charging. It may take up to one minute to start charging. Again, it's been about 15 to 20 seconds using plug and charge. And it's just flashing here. But I, I believe 
for all intents and purposes, this means we're charging. Uh, it says uh, we're at 90%. Forgive us for charging at such a high rate. We're filming a lot of videos out here. Charging rate is only 34 kilowatts. That's because we're at such a high state of charge and it is delivering power. Oh, my screen saver just went on. Sorry about that. Um, so that's method number two. You can use the Tesla uh, app to initiate your charging. Uh, this is sort of cool because there's some great notifications within the Tesla app as well. Um, I do wanna bring up, like I believe, Let's see, there's somewhere in here where, ah, there it is, membership. So if you want, and this is what's showing up on the screen is, uh, you can pay $12.99 a month to be in the Tesla membership, and then you'll get discounted rates. I believe it's like five, 10 cents uh, per kilowatt hour discount. If you are going to use Tesla superchargers a lot, this will pay off. I think somebody calculated it out to just over 100 kilowatt hours per month and the discounted member rate would pay off for you. Um, we're not gonna do that right now, um, but if we were going on a road trip, we might wanna join for that month. So I'm gonna go ahead, close this. We're gonna go back out, go back out. Can I get back into, yeah, there it is. Charging in progress, 37 kilowatts. Again, we're at a very high state of charge just because we're filming some videos. But once again, we're gonna go ahead and hit stop. Again, that's the button that Ford says. I believe that one might work, but we're gonna ask them before we do that. I'm gonna pull this out. And then we're gonna try another method. I said three methods, but I think I'm gonna try four. We're gonna see if we can do this. Whoops, I forget, it's this one here. I'm gonna put this down. Plug this in. Make sure it's secure. Now let's try the next method. The next method is using the actual Ford Pass app. So I'm gonna tap on the charger that we're, or the charging station that we're at. It's gonna load up all of the different stalls. And oddly enough, these aren't in like numeric order. So I gotta just scroll through and see if I can find 10D. Um, this is a huge station. So this is a bit more of a pain than like if there were only eight. Um, but let's see, it's gotta be in here somewhere. There it is. So there's uh, 10D, I'm gonna select that. Uh, does it tell me the cost? I think it told me the cost on the other one. The selecting activate does not reserve this charger, so don't like just get near this the, the stall and uh, activate because somebody else could steal your session. Uh, there it is. It says 55 uh, cents per kilowatt hour. By the way, it's a dollar per minute idle fee, so don't charge to 100% and just leave your car uh, plugged in. We're gonna hit activate, waiting for charger to activate. Says this process can take two minutes. Charger activate, activated. Tap OK. And then now we should be able to just plug in. I don't know why you would necessarily um, activate it this way. Maybe if you turned off plug and charge for whatever reason, you don't want that on, then uh, it's nice to know that you can use Ford Pass as well. But we're going to go ahead and plug in. Here, click there, and now it should be within 15 to 20 seconds that it's also charging. And yeah, wow, that was really quick. And I guess that's because it was already activated. It didn't go through the normal um, plug and charge protocols. And give me one second. So because I activated in Ford Pass, I can check, and I'm charging at 38 kilowatts. Um, we're going to go ahead and just hit stop. Let me hit stop here. I'm going to stop my screen recording. And then let's see if we can find one other way of activating a charge. So give me one second while I put this away. And we're going to hop in the car and use the charge assist app. So we're going to try another way in the car. This will be our last way of uh, activating a, a charge. But uh, this is using the charge assist slash public charging app. And once again, we just have to scroll through and see if I can find that 10D. I'm not seeing it. You see it? Shout out. Um, don't see it. I don't see any double digits. There it is. So there we go. Uh, 10D right here. 55 cents per kilowatt hour. We're going to hit activate. It says it's activating. And then as soon as 
is done activating, I'll hop out and we'll plug in. Again, I don't know why you would necessarily want to not just use plug in charge. Um, this is taking a bit of time. But uh, if you if you do want to try alternate methods, this is available to you as well. Um, it seems like plug in charge is the fastest. Uh, Tesla is probably the next fastest. Ford Pass is third fastest. And then this is definitely the slowest. I'm not sure why it's not activating. Maybe I'll just, well, I could just plug in, but that might just activate plug and charge. Um, and maybe this is just simply because I'm assuming that we have to have network connectivity. We may not have great connectivity out here, um, which is something to consider. Either we mark this as a fail or let's just go plug in and see what it does. So I'm going to do that. Plugged in so many times this weekend. Whoops. And I'm just going to hop in here and see if the screen ever, ever activated. It still says activating. I'm going to go ahead and hit record, see if it does anything. Oh, there we go. I think maybe I just didn't get confirmation um, that it had activated. But anyways, uh, it's charging now. It's going to tell me how many miles gained. It's telling me the speed, but that's just the speed of the charger. That's not the actual speed that it's charging at right now. Um, but it's saying it'll take me 32 minutes to get all the way up to 100%. Cars always slow down at the, the top end. But uh, yeah, I, if I were you, I would just go ahead and use the primary method, um, which is uh, plug and charge. But here's something I, I just noticed. We do have a stop button here. This is a different way of uh, stopping a charge. So we're gonna go ahead and hit stop here. Unable to stop session. Ah, we gotta go actually hit the button. But then it says go unplug, but we know that's just basically me hit, hitting this button first because it's still charging here. And then now we're done. So that's, uh, that was a bit interesting. Um, I think we'll probably just always uh, use plug-in charge um, unless we we're doing a road trip. And then I would use the Tesla membership at $13 per month and then activate using the Tesla app. That was pretty straightforward as well. So I recommend plug-in charge as a backup using um, the Tesla app. Uh, it's not a bad idea to, even if you're never going, you never think you're going to use it to have the Tesla app. You never know if there's ever going to be an issue with plug and charge or whatever. Um, and, and of course, if you have a Mach-E, you should already have Ford Pass app. So it's really nice to have multiple ways of activating a charge. Although plug and charge is so nice and easy. Um, I know that's going to be our preferred choice. Even if we do have to pay a little bit extra, the convenience of just plugging in and walking away is really nice. Um, we've said this in our other videos, so we're going to say it again now. Um, I want to emphasize the fact that your right now your charger is basically, or the charging adapter is easy to steal. Somebody could just like hit the stop button, stop your session, unplug, just like I did. It's not locked in. I believe there may be a software update soon that can fix that. Fingers crossed. I know somebody found some stuff in the manual that said that's the way it's going to be. If your key's not nearby, it'll keep the, the charge port locked. But it isn't actually right now. We sort of tested it out in one of our other videos. Um, we'll try to get the update. We'll let you know about that. Uh, the other thing, again, to remember is uh, Tesla does charge a dollar per minute if you uh, idle fees. So don't go to 100% and just let your car sit there. But other than that, that's like the basic you know, a uh, way of activating charge at any Tesla supercharger that's on the map that uh, allows you to charge there with this adapter. So uh, go out there, you know, once you get your adapter, give it a try. Let me know which is your favorite. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all our Patreon members for supporting us for the past one, two, and three years. Uh, it's been very nice having you guys along for the ride. If you want to join them, down below we have the Whisper Engaged and Unbridled levels. You get special perks for each level. Uh, details are down below. You can also join our YouTube membership using uh, the join button down below, I believe. But anyways, as Liv would say, just remember, and I can read her shirt because she's wearing one of those today, and you can buy those down below as well. Whatever you drive, however you charge, even if it's with an adapter, enjoy the ride. Bye.